महाराष्ट्र स्टेट बोर्ड स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी चैप्टर फोर्थ मेजरमेंट ऑफ मैटर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट टू राइट द स्टेप इन ड्यूसिंग इन डिड्यूसिंग द केमिकल फार्मूला ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपाउंड फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सोडियम सल्फेट एंड एंसर इन द एंसर यू हैव टू राइट द फर्स्ट स्टेप टू राइट द सिंबल ऑफ रेडिकल बेसिक रेडिकल ऑन द लेफ्ट एंड द एसिडिक रेडिकल ऑन द राइट सो बेसिक रेडिकल इज सोडियम and uh, acidic is sodium sulfate uh, as acidic is sulfate you have to write the second step to write the valency below the respective radicals so you have to write the valency below the sodium and sulfate the so valency of the sodium is 1 and the sulfate is 2 okay next step is step number 3 to cross multiply as shown by the arrow the number of the radical so you have to cross multiply the numbers uh, uh, cross multiply the valency with the radicals okay you have to show the arrow okay, next step is step number 4 to write down the chemical formula of the compound and it is become the sodium sulfate na2so4 sodium sulfate okay next question is second question is potassium nitrate and answer in the answer first step to write the symbol of the radical uh, basic radical on the left side and the acidic radical on the right side and here is the potassium on the left side and nitrate on the right side okay second step to write the valency below the respective radicals so you have to write the valency of the potassium and it is 1 and the valency of nitrate is also 1 then step 3 to cross multiply as shown by the arrow the number of the radicals so you have to cross multiply the valency with their radicals okay next step is step number 4 to write down the chemical formula of the compound after cross multiplying you have to write the formula and the formula is potassium nitrate and it is kno3 potassium nitrate okay next question question number 3 ferric phosphate and the answer in the first uh, answer the first step is to write the symbol of the radical basic radical on the left and the acidic radical on the right side and the symbol is fe for the ferric and po4 for the phosphate okay second step to write the valency below the respective radical the valency of fe is 3 and the valency of po4 is 3 then the valency 3 and the 3 is divided by the 3 and it comes 1 and 1 and you have to cross multiply as shown by the arrow number of the radical then you have to cross multiply 1 by the po4 and 1 by the fe and the next step is to write down the chemical formula of the compound and the chemical formula is fepo4 and it is called as ferric phosphate next fourth calcium oxide first step is to write the symbol of the radical basic radical on left and the acidic radical on the right side and the uh, calcium the symbol of the calcium is ca and the symbol of oxide is o next step to write the valency below the respective radicals and the valency of calcium is 2 and the valency of oxygen is 2 hence the both the valency are same 
it is divided by 2 and it comes 1 and 1 okay then the step number 3 to cross multiply as shown by the arrow the number of the radicals so cross multiply 1 with the oxygen and 1 with the calcium so next step is step number 4 to write down the chemical formula of the compound and the chemical formula is cal CaO calcium oxide next question is aluminium hydroxide step 1 to write the symbol of the radical basic radical on the left and the acidic radical on the right side and the radical of the aluminium is symbol of the aluminium is Al and the symbol of hydroxide is OH next step the write the valency below the respective radical and the valency of aluminium is 3 and the valency of OH is 1 step number 3 to cross multiply as shown by the arrow the number of the radical and uh, you have to cross multiply 3 with OH and 1 with the aluminium. Step number 4 to write down the chemical formula of the compound and the chemical formula of the uh, aluminium uh, compound is ALOH3 aluminium hydroxide. Next question is calcium carbonate. And the first step is to write the symbol of the radical, basic radical on the left side and the acidic radical on the right side. And the symbol of the calcium is Ca and the symbol of carbonate is CO3. Step number two, to write the valency below the respective radical. So the valency of the calcium is 2 and the valency of the carbonate is 2. Hence, the both numbers are same. They are divided by 2. Uh, both numbers are 2 and 2. Hence, it is divided by 2. And the valency is become 1 and 1. Then, step number 3. To cross multiply as shown by the arrow, the number of the radical. So, 1 is multiplied by the carbonate. And this one is multiplied by the calcium so last step is to write down the chemical formula of the compound and the chemical formula is CaCO3 calcium carbonate next question is sodium dichromate the first step is to write the symbol of the radicals basic radical on left side and acidic radical on the right side. Symbol of the sodium is Na and the symbol of dichromate is Cr2O7. Next step, step number 2, to write the valency below the respective radical. The valency of sodium is 1 and the valency of dichromate is 2. Step number 3, to cross multiply as shown by the arrow the number of radicals. So 1 is multiplied by the Cr2O7 and 2 is multiplied to Na. Step number 4. To write down the chemical formula of the compound. And the chemical formula is Na2Cr2O7 and it is called as sodium dichromate. 